start recording. Okay, so uh, hi everyone. Um, this is Let's Discuss a Paper Soon After Reading It. Um, in our journal craft, uh, we picked up a paper, uh, selected a paper, and started to reading the paper two hours ago. And then from now on, we are going to discuss the content of the paper. Um, today we have two uh, people. Uh, Ryoichi, can you introduce yourself first? Okay, hi, I'm Ryoichi Otanabe. I'm a PhD student. Okay, thank you. And um, me, Yotaka Oshima, I'm uh, doing research assistant. Um, okay, today we are going to uh, discuss a paper, the title uh, Meta Contrast Investigations of Sustained Transient Channel Inhibitory Interactions, um, published in 1981 um, in Journal of Experimental Psychology, Human Perception and Performance. Um, the authors are uh, Breit Mayer, um, Root, and Dan. The Dun um, in Houston, University of Houston. So, forty, yeah, the papers are uh, published uh, forty years ago. Agree. Um, but anyway, um, first I will give a just a brief uh, summary of of these papers, and I uh, have to say that I could not um, uh, read the whole. Uh, paper. Uh, so I only introduce a part of this um, papers. Um, but anyway, um, the key, I think the idea or what this paper want to investigate uh, is um, whether there is some um, inhibition um, by uh, inhibition of a uh, mask by a uh, target. So basically, uh, when we are thinking about the masking experiment, uh, we kind of investigate or try to investigate the effect of um, um, on target by mask. So when we have mask, let's say the visibility of the target is uh, or the visibility of target decreased. That's the way how we think. So we tend to think about the interaction or inhibition um, by the target on, um, uh, by the mask on the target. Um, but on the other hand, um, I think in this paper, the author tried to um, say that uh, we, there should be another you know, direction of um, inhibition, um, and again, um, which is uh, inhibition of um, uh, tag, uh, inhibition of mask by target. Um, in order to um, test or investigate that, um, the this paper in this paper, and um, they presented the result uh, from four experiments. And I, I told you before, I only um, read the, um, the paper, uh, the experiment one and two. So I will not uh, explain uh, the experiment three and four. Um, but the basic idea is just the same. Again, I told you before, uh, the, in meta contrast masking, um, the author, uh, what the author say that then this um, phenomena can be explained by the inhibition by a uh, uh, mask on target. And for each um, you know stimuli, I mean task and um, task and um, target, there should be two different types of processes in a sense. Uh, one is the short latency transient you know process, and the other is the longer latency in sustained um, process. So when we present, uh, let's say, stimuli, then that will generate um, first um, process, 
and then after that, another process. That's the kind of the idea uh, to explain this uh, meta contrast um, phenomenon. So when we you know present the two stimuli at the same time, then presumably uh, we can think that these two different you know uh, two different stimuli uh, generate um, two different processes um, gain the transient and sustained, which will occur at the same time. So there will be interaction at the same time, but uh, in the meta contrast condition or the paradigm, um, as the co uh, mask is presented after the target is presented. So there will be some interaction between target trans uh, mask transient process and target sustained uh, process. Uh, this is because the target is presented first and then the transient process of the target will first occur. And then after that transient process occurs. And then while that you know, sustained process for the target occur, um, as we or the experimenter present the mask, and there will be some interaction between um, the target sustained process and uh, mask transient um, process. That's the idea why you know there will be a meta contrast um, phenomenon. And again, and this um, case, um, what the, the author tried to explain or investigate is that uh, not the inhibition by the mask um, transient uh, process on the target sustained channel, uh, channel or not the process, but the inhibition on, of the mask uh, transient process by a uh, task sustained um, process. So in order to uh, do that, um, they uh, set it up uh, for different types of um, you know, experiment, but I think the key is an experiment too, where um, they um, used the three different, um, oh, sorry, uh, three different uh, stimuli, and the one is target, and the other two is mask one and the mask two. And then in order to um, test the effect of mask on target, uh, they add extra mask. And in um, experiment two, uh, first uh, the authors um, uh, uh, by the way, uh, so I think it's better to explain uh, experiment four first. So first uh, when the target on the mask two uh, is presented at the same time, followed by another mask, then the visibility of task, uh, sorry, the visibility of target is recovered compared to the uh, case where uh, the task, uh, so not the task, the target is presented alone, followed by another uh, condition, which is the standard meta contrast uh, condition. So the idea in experiment one is just, you know, we have just standard uh, meta contrast paradigm, one target, one um, mask. And compare that par uh, condition with the, um, the target and mask followed by another mask, that kind of, you know, difference. And then first they uh, confirmed that in that comparison or when they compare these two conditions, they found that the target visibility is recovered when the, you know, extra mask is presented at the same time as the target. And that's the, experiment one, then experiment two is kind of the, 
the variance of exper variant of experiment one. So meaning that uh, in experiment one, the target on extra uh, mask uh, is presented at the same time, but in experiment two, um, the temporal asynchrony between task uh, not task, target, and, and an extra mask is varied. So, and that's the difference. Um, so, for example, in the one case, first um, mask, M mask, target, and then mask. Or in other case, um, target, mask, mask. That kind of condition or cases, scenarios are um, considered in experiment two. And then um, what they found is that um, the first mask, um, uh, so uh, target recovery. So, okay. So, first, and in experiment two, um, the task of sub, uh, the, uh, participant report the visibility of target again. And then the authors found that um, when the first mask um, proceed the other mask, then the target recovery occur. So this is very difficult to explain without um, visual aid, but you know, um, the, in the experiment one, uh, we have target and another. Uh, by the way, the target is the, just a disk, you know, the circle, the black disk. And then the another um, mask, or, or one mask is just a ring, and then another is a um, bigger ring. And then in experiment one, um, that target is presented, the center disk is presented with the outer link, the bigger link at the same time, followed by the inner link. That's the task uh, experiment one. And then in experiment two, um, the bigger ring is presented at a different um, time. So in one case, the bigger ring is presented first and then disk and then in a ring and in other case this and then after link and then in a ring not that kind of conditions and then what they found is that you know when the outer you know bigger link is presented before in a ring then on the disk visibility of disk is just recovered uh, compared uh, when with the case when you know only the disk and inner case is presented uh, which is just uh, you know standard meta contrast conditions and at the same time um, in experiment two, the authors asked the visibility of um, in the yeah, visibility of the inner ring, inner ring. So, and they found that when the, you know, outer bigger ring is presented before inner ring, there is no effect on M, uh, inner ring by outer ring. So the visibility of inner ring didn't change. Uh, but on the other hand, um, when the outer link is presented after the inner ring, then the visibility of inner ring is changed. And then based on this, uh, what we can say is that um, at first the target recovery occurred um, when, you know, outer link perceived the in inner ring. And then second, we can see the effect on inner ring, the change of visibility of inner ring by outer ring only when the outer ring 
presented before that in that ring. So from here, uh, we can say that, um, okay, as the visibility of inner, chain, uh, inner ring did not change uh, when the outer ring is presented before inner ring, then the visibility of inner ring is not important for um, the visibility of the target, the center disk. I am not sure whether I can, uh, or my explanation is clear, but anyway, so that's kind of, you know, experiment too. And then as I, again, I could not, I didn't have time to um, go through the experiment three and four, so I will just skip them. But anyway, um, the conclusion of this paper is that, um, so there is, um, you know, effect of um or the change of visibility of uh, mask by target um but yeah anyway sorry <laughs> um i don't think my you know summary or the you know <laughs> introduction and the explanation of experiments are consistent. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, excuse is that, you know, this, the last time we did the, you know, this journal club is already one month ago or something. So I already forgot how to summarize and then I just didn't have time to, you know, go through this paper within two hours. So yeah, but anyway, that's, yeah summary of my you know of this paper my summary of this paper okay <laughs> so yeah let's start discussion from now on yeah yes thank you for your uh summary summarization and yeah normally uh, uh normally in the backward masking paradigm the system rate target and mask is one and one but I think what uh, the important point of this study is that authors use a three stimuli, right? So target and one mask stimuli and second mask stimuli. So, and also I think another point is that how to uh, interaction between the masks and how the meta contrast effect on target uh, visibility, right? So, so I agree with your uh, sum summary, and I I added this, this comment, and I think in the experiment three, the authors control the mask two stimulates our mm. uh, timing, like the mask so target and mask one, then mask two or target mask two and mask one we are uh, the authors see and how to how the mask two effect on mask one i think mm -hmm. in the three and also the authors control the position of masks so and i think in figure five the x-axis is a m1 a mask one and mask two spatial separation. So when the mask one, the, when the distance between mask one and mask two is, uh, how to say, large, the meta contrast effect will be less weak, but the distance is weak and fit the two circle the meta contrast effect is large, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. Mm. So, okay. So, okay. So, according to, I think I started to get the, you know, big picture of this paper. So, again, uh, as I, you know, mentioned in the beginning, the beginning, mm. that this paper tried to investigate the, you know, mask side, you know, kind of mm -hmm. effect on target. Mm -hmm. 
But and in order to do that, we need to, you know, change the visibility of mask, or mm -hmm. we need to see whether it change the visibility change or not for mask. Mm -hmm. So for that, we need another mask. Mm -hmm. Kind of, you know. Then in experiment two, um, they changed the temporal, you know, asynchrony between mm -hmm. masks. Then in experiment three, they changed the, you know, spatial you know, configuration in a sense mm -hmm. of mask in order to, you know, change or uh, check the effect of mm -hmm. mask or the how, you know, the mask visibility changed, something mm -hmm. like, okay, mm. okay. And experiment four, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I see. My experiment four, and also they also had fixed the time target and mask one and mask two, and I, sorry, <laughs> I, I don't know well. I, I, I couldn't understand well experiment four. Uh, so yeah, maybe, yeah, we can just skip experiment four. Maybe this, mm. yeah, I yeah, don't know yeah. if this is the you know key or not, but you know, I still didn't have time and you didn't have time. So yeah, just skip it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but I think, yeah, experiment one and two and also three's result is uh, interesting. Mm. Right, so if if the mitochondria, the mask three, I'm sorry, mask two is happened, uh, the mask one's metacontrast effect is less or inhibited. So the target visibility is, uh, and uh, they also have to use recover, right? means that metal metal contrast effect is weak mean recover mm -hmm. yeah in experiment one result is so clear mm -hmm. yeah kind of you know mask all masking situation mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm. mask of masking mm. Mm. And in the experiment to the results, so be, I think before of the target, the mask two uh, mm. appeared, our uh, target visibility words are uh, affected, right? This mm. graph shows. And then after or after of uh, mask, uh, sorry, and uh, the mask two, where it's appeared after mask one, the mask one was affected by our uh, mask two, right? In figure four. Yeah, right. Um, I can, I'm not sure, or I don't know the you know the license of this paper so i'll just draw uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. so target fixed and then mask one yeah yeah fixed and then change the you know presentation mask. for the mask where two. the mask two presented yeah. mask two mm. then target one and then mask, oh, no. This is target. And mm -hmm. then this is, you know, mask one. Mm -hmm. And then this is mask two, kind of. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not mm -hmm. very sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fixed and then smaller ring. And then bigger ring presented at a different time can be mm -hmm. here, here, and then in this case, I mean, 
the same time as t, this is experiment one. One, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then can be here. And then after this, you know, m1. Then, yeah, conclusion is that here, and uh, recovered this, you know, target visibility is recovered, mm -hmm. right? And then here, this um, visibility of mask is uh, changed, decreased, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. But here, the visibility of mask did not change. Just mm -hmm. stay. So given, you know, this part and this part, and, you know, here, so no visibility change, but still target visibility recover. Mm -hmm. So, you know, visibility of this is not important. I mean, visibility of M1 is mm -hmm. not important for this task recovery. Mm. That's experiment two, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I should use this when I explain experiment to the first mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, that's the experiment. And that's my understanding. Hmm. Mm. I, mm. I don't know the literature, but um, is it kind of standard way of thinking? to, you know, think about the first, you know, transient process and then after sustained process. Yeah, but for a backward masking phenomenon? Uh, mm. Anything, just anything. Yeah, but I think it is different situation, but also attention and blink is the same way, right? So when up first we, Stimulates words are consciously perceived. The secondary one was missed or something. It's not I, I for me it's related. It is are uh, similar in experiment to data. Mm -hmm. Right the or the for backward masking explanation. The first one, but the first the second do stimulate the uh, process is preferred or more uh, processed. So the state first ones are, uh, how to say, perception is uh, uh, covered, then our uh, secondary stimulus is perceive, uh, consciously perceived or something. Mm -hmm. So in right, like this inhibition or, uh, how to say, yeah. Uh, sustain. Um, I don't, but so, sorry, I don't know de detail. Mm. So the text of target on mask. Mm. Mm. Uh, but normally, yes, the uh, many studies show that you use shoe shape or something. So, mm. pre and after stimulus masked the target one. Mm. So, I, so, there is a forward masking paradigm and backward masking paradigm and also sandwich masking paradigm. Mm. Mm. So, okay, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Effect. Mm 
Mm. So I think this paper kind of suggests that, you know, or the claim is just, you know, mask and target are interacting with each other or affecting with each other in terms of, you know, mm. contrast or perceived contrast. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, these are uh, task idea is so interesting, but how to uh, apply the same? How how to up? I don't I don't know how to apply this method to or uh, something to study or uh, the phenomenon is more interesting for me, but I don't know. We can discuss about the general generalization of this study's result or how to apply our consciousness study. I don't know. Maybe masking of ma mask of masking can be possible in other experiments. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So let's say uh, uh, backward masking, mm, but the same. Mm. Have you ever encountered any, you know, experiment where, you know, mask or masking is masked. Mm, I don't. Uh, I so haven't. Present target. Then we have mm. you know, in the backward masking case we have masking. And then in order to mask this, you know, masking stimuli, we set another mask. That kind of. Mm, I don't know the other of this paper. Two masks. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. So mask and mask. Yeah. Mask. So in you know masking experiment, usually the masking stimuli is kind of, you know, really strong. Give you a really strong impression, right? Like yeah, a mandarin, yeah. you know, noise or yeah. So once you are presented this, you know, image, then it's very difficult to mask that, you know, mask, mask that masking stimuli, right? Mm. So, for example, I was thinking about that, uh, you know, uh, continuous suppression, uh, continuous yeah, yeah. like a, mm -hmm. let's say, face image on the my left eye. And then just you know noise image, the yeah, your right side. Then the idea is that to suppress the you know this you know noise image on the right eye is suppressed by some other image. Of right. Yeah. The tuck, 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 something. I don't know how to do it, yeah. but that is. Mm, Mm, yeah, I see. Or, or some, the, the marginal modality or something like the first target, visual target, and visual mask, and uh, like an audio second mask or something. I don't know, but. Yeah, so I don't know if that is called a masking. So, mm. for example, we have that's attention, no? Mm, I don't know. Yeah. I think about that. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> but 
but I think there are so multi modality backward masking task. Okay. And yeah. also there the multi modality backward masking phenomenon is happen by a lot of by uh visual spatial visual tactile or visual audit auditorial and something. Mm. But I don't but this is uh, like for in visual in vision are uh, second first and second masking. I don't know. Multimodal masking of mask mask of masking. Mm. Yeah that can be possible but I don't know. Um... Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Yes, I mm. see. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is, you know, yeah, as you mentioned, interesting paper. But um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> but uh, and also they also used the meta contrast mas masking, mm. and this masking is easier easier to do this second or third masking because uh, we. We can add some layer, something so like for as a um, contrast masking, mm -hmm. so easy, or the like the four dot masking is also we can do, mm -hmm. and my uh, and also the uh, researcher uh, studying the backward masking said that the, uh, the four dot masking is more stronger than these masking. I remember. Mm. Okay. So maybe one, you know, question to you is that what do you expect if we add another ring? I uh, I see it's the same ring. So mm. so, so we have like the third mask. Yeah, third mask. Yeah. <laughs> that is it's the same ring for I don't know, but the meta contrast effect. The same really happen on target. Mm. I think, but and the the other masky mask only is how uh yeah I don't know but yeah third or four or five mask contrast masking we can we can uh, make but um, I don't know. But mm -hmm. so also, uh, this is in interesting. But uh, what is the significance <laughs> of like, <laughs> yeah, so more higher order layers con but contrasting? So like, uh, my point is that you know, if you know that you know transient and sustained, you know, two key processes kind of idea is true then by you know adding you know extra over and over again we can cancel out you know transient sustained mm -hmm. many times so ideally you know even though we present the stimuli let's say like a more than 100 frame mm -hmm. but participant will never see you know anything because uh, everything you mask. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, but but in the in this article, I think this this is not to happen, right? No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh. Um no, yeah. So yeah, what they say is that it depends on when they present the you know mask, masking of mm. mask. Yeah. Sometimes no effect. In the other mm. uh, case, yeah, some effect. Yeah. Um, mm. 
eyes. I don't, I don't know. Or, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, mm. or in this study, uh, the participant response the uh, visibility right light visibility. Uh, so, so dark, so dark or uh right. So I think first they were present after the you know each trial they I mean participants were presented ten patches in different mm -hmm. color from white to you know black. Mm -hmm. So kind of grayscale, you know, uh color map. Then each patch has number from one to ten. Mm -hmm. So participant report the number or which patch is the most close to the you know the closest. Yeah, which patch yeah, yeah, yeah. is the closest mm -hmm. to the you know stimuli presented in the trial. Then if they are confident, they can report, let's say the decimal point like a 2.5 or 2.6 something like that instead of mm -hmm. saying just two or three or you know integer number so this design is i think the simplest one mm. 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 Uh. Mm. It's difficult, or I don't know, but for, for color judgment or the category judgment or, or number judgment or something, mm. uh, similar, uh, similar to the recently backward masking paradigm. Mm. But if uh, we will do this, the so higher order masking method is difficult. I mean that this is a meta contrast mapping, so circle layer we can add. But if we can, if we use the some letters or something as target stimuli, mm -hmm. how to uh, mask secondary or surgery? Mm -hmm. If we use the mosaic mask as a mask too. We, uh, if we want to present the target and mask two, mm. but mask two is a mo if mask two is mosaic, so as same represented the mask two or mask target one. So uncovered mask we should choose for second or third masking. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, you know, we can think about the uh, different dimension of image. Mm. I mean, uh, no. Yeah, uh, but, yeah, but I how, uh, like the binocular uh, libraries or uh, something stupid, so uh, I don't know. Me, me, green house and red face and uh, i don't know mask is red or mask is green uh, mm. Mm. Yeah. But yeah anyway like, <laughs> i don't have anything to say more than this mm. do you want to say something <laughs> no Okay, then we can wrap up here. <laughs> mm. Okay, then see you next week. Bye bye. See you.